Hi there, I'm extremely happy to meet you again in this video. I hear people all the time talking about how they failed dropshipping and how dropshipping didn't work for them. Well, dropshipping is not easy and failing it is not something that you should be ashamed of, but it's something that you could fix if you try to avoid the mistakes I'm going to point out in this video. So why a high percentage of people who try dropshipping fail? Watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you how to avoid being one of them. Reason number one. Many people think that dropshipping is an easy, lazy way to wealth. They think that they will sit on their couches sleeping and money will start to fall down on them from nowhere. If you are thinking this way, you are wrong. And honestly, it's not your mistake. The internet is crowded with videos and articles and people insisting on selling the same idea. Well, this idea is wrong. And if you are starting dropshipping with this mindset, I doubt that you will ever succeed. So, what almost all people who fail dropshipping do, they watch few tutorials online, they sign up for a Shopify account, they pick anything from Shopify store, they add some products from AliExpress using Overlaw, and they run some Facebook ads. They don't make any sales, and they give up. This is not how you should be working if you are planning to succeed. To succeed, each single detail of your store should be well optimized. With no exaggeration, you should put time and effort on each detail, starting from your store look, your product photos and description, your product's reviews, and many other details. If you want to know more about these things, I have already added several videos helping you optimizing your store. I will add the links in the description below don't forget to check them. To succeed, you should start by learning well and preparing yourself, then moving to work and put effort on your store. That's why I recommend you to take the same dropshipping training I took. You will find the link of this training below in the description. This training sums up everything you need to know in order to succeed. It's well detailed and at the same time structured to teach you everything in short time. Reason number two, picking the wrong niche. Well, this mistake is one that I have experienced personally. My first serious attempt of building a dropshipping store was a store that sells kitchen accessories. I spent months optimizing it, doing everything by the book. I picked products that looked promising and everything. But when I started trying to market to these products, I wasn't able to make my ads convert. And the reason is simple. My niche was so broad, I didn't know how to target people. Picking a broad niche is something bad. I highly recommend you to go with sub-niches. So instead of selling kitchen accessories, sell something more specific, like knives. Instead of selling animal accessories, sell dog accessories. Or maybe even go deeper, like selling accessories to a specific type of dogs. With a broad niche, you will face a huge competition. You will not be able to target your audience and you will be risking selling generic products. Think how you are going to target people before creating your store. Don't sell something people can find on the stores next to them. You can sell napkins on Facebook. Be creative, go deeper into sub niches. You will have a smaller audience, but you will be facing smaller competition. Also, one of the reasons why my kitchen accessories store didn't work out is that my margin was very limited. You can't sell kitchen accessories for $100. You can't play that much with the prices. That's why I was limited with margin, so I couldn't make my ads convert in any way. If you are loving this video, please do not forget to like it, to leave a comment below, and to subscribe to my channel. Reason number three, quitting when you face your first failure. I know how much failing can be tough. I have failed many times and each time I test something new, I know that I might fail. But I'm not scared of failing anymore because failures are what teach me how to do better and how to fix. It took me years to understand that without risking, I can't ever succeed. And without accepting the fact that I might fail, I will never take risks and excel. Whether with dropshipping or e-commerce or any other kind of business, don't give up because your first trials failed. 
Many people are very afraid of spending money. So they try few ads on Facebook. They pay 20, maybe 30, maybe $50. They don't make any sales. They decide that things aren't going fine and they quit. Well, this is wrong. Facebook algorithm needs time to learn how to optimize your ad performance. That's why you should try many ads, many copyrights, different photos and different products. You can test five products and one niche and decide that you can't make it and quit. At least you should try 20 different products in three different niches before thinking about giving up. And always remember to learn from your mistakes and your failures to build your success. Reason number four, not taking action. Something I learned from my personal experience, most people fail because they never try. I always feel proud talking about the years I worked online without getting any penny. Yes, proud. Because while my friends were going out, enjoying their lives after their jobs, I was going home, sitting on my PC and working hard and making zero dollars. Well, yes, sometimes I felt depressed and sometimes I thought about dropping everything and just living like everyone else, but I never did it. I worked and worked hard to achieve my goals and finally I was able to start making money online. Well, yes, everyone has great ideas and big ideas and smart ideas, but not everyone is willing to put the time and the effort to take action and to realize these ideas. I have worked very hard to achieve my goals and now it's your turn to work hard and to achieve your goals. That's why you should start taking action at this moment by going to the description below and checking all the tools I have put in your hands, starting with the videos, the courses, all the free tools and the paid tools you can use and access through the links you will find below. Also up above, you can click to check out the top three Shopify themes I recommend. These themes are the best in my opinion and using any of them, you can create a highly converting and a highly professional store. Engaging with this video by liking, commenting and subscribing will help it reach more people. So if you think that the information I shared in this video are valuable, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below, to like this video and to subscribe to my channel.